here. Um, I'm Jeff Connors, Director of Strength and Conditioning at East Carolina University. And uh, Jeff, thanks for taking some time with me today. No problem. What led you to the strength and conditioning field? What got you into that? I know you've also done some power lifting. Tell us a little bit about that. When we were in college, we played for a guy named Larry Blackstone. He was a big believer in lifting. And uh, we didn't have a tremendous facility, but we did lift very hard. And we went through a, a circuit type of program in the winter and also uh, you know, running an agility program in our season, <clears throat> which back then was uh, not as common as it is now. And we're talking about late 70s. And then uh, <clears throat> from there, after I got out of school, I kind of missed football. Um, so I uh, got into competitive powerlifting and won a few state championships. And I just kind of did it because I missed football, really. But uh, I thought I was able to total somewhere around 1650 for three lifts at 181, you know, which was pretty good at the time. And um, and that helped me to, uh, you know, with regard to my practical experience going into the field of strength and conditioning. Right. Were those numbers raw suited? What exactly? Well, you know, you. Back then, back, back then, you know, it was kind of almost like raw because you know, we were deadlifting in a wrestling suit. Right, uh, single ply stuff. And, you know, yeah, the, uh, even the super suits we had weren't, weren't very good. So, uh, you know, I think I squatted somewhere around 625, 630 in, in that suit. And maybe today closer to 700, but, you know, if it was, you know, the same uh, or, you know, with different uh, equipment. <clears throat> but, um, like I say, that, that kind of just... Uh, got me uh, kind of keyed up and, and got me into some good practical information to, uh, to get ready to get into the strength and conditioning field, which I never really anticipated. But, uh, it's a great field, and, you know, um, getting out there and trying to educate these, uh, uh, a lot of the parents and the athletes and the importance of it is, is uh, kind of an uphill battle that I'm facing. What would you recommend for high school, middle school athletes who are thinking about getting into it, but maybe don't want to invest, uh, and maybe their school program isn't great, what would you suggest there? I mean, what would you, from the baseline, and then how do you progress? Well, you know, I'm an old school guy, and so, you know, with regard to gaining strength, I think first you have to have foundational strength. I don't think there is any pure exercise to the back squat. Um, so, you know, we, we power clean, we back squat, we bench press, we do a lot of component movements and variation movements to those exercises. So I think that's the first thing you have to do is you've got to develop a, a foundation and a prime movers, and then you have to uh, balance your work in each joint area. And then with our program, we spend a lot of time in developing the hamstrings and glutes because those are the muscle groups that put force in the ground and help to propel your hips through the air and give you stride length. And uh, so I think that's what you have to do first is get your numbers up in the primary movements. Uh, but start lifting for technique safety and then make small incremental gains as you go maintaining perfect technique and maintaining safety and uh, you know everybody with regard to bench press wants to try and bench press the whole world in two months and so uh, I think you have to take your time with that movement particularly get your reps and then with uh, exercises such as squat and power clean a lot of times people aren't lifting heavy enough to make progress so uh, you know, the bottom line is you got to work hard and you've got to have a sound program. Right, exactly. You know, one of the things I face also is dealing with baseball players in my gym. And the old school mentality there is that baseball players shouldn't lift heavy. And I try to explain the fact that they go through a ton of volume throwing and hitting year after year. So I try to offset that with the heavy lifting, develop that foundational strength, and, and their success on the field is, is proven that heavy lifting works, even in baseball players. Our baseball team is one of our hardest working teams, and uh, we certainly do strain through heavy weight. Um, we don't do quite as much overhead right. type of stuff, um, but we do a whole lot of work with the you know, developing a rotator cuff, and of course the pitcher's workouts are a little bit different. Um, torso rotary movement, similar to a quarterback, is important as well. Uh, we know we're keeping the uh, health in the shoulder joint uh, is going to be very important. We also work grip strength, and uh, uh, you know. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're working the prime movers just like pretty much any other uh, sport, sports like football and basketball, for instance. Right, right. And in closing today, like I mentioned before, we're in Huntington, West Virginia today, Marshall versus ECU, big game. This one will determine who is bowl eligible. Tell us a little bit about it, the preparation for the day, what's the environment, what's the, uh, the thoughts of the team, what kind of mood. And, 
Well, you know, this year's been a grind, and uh, uh, we've had uh, we've had some injuries. We've had a lot of turnovers that we've battled. Uh, we had a really tough schedule out of conference. We played South Carolina, North Carolina, Navy. Um, of course, Houston is in our conference. They have a very strong team this year. Uh, and uh, so, you know, what we've done is kind of fought back and won some games in conference, beat Central Florida last week, which was a big win, which put, put us in a position to uh, possibly win this game today and, and go to a bowl. And uh, Marshall's in the same exact situation. Um, and they've had some good performances at home as well. And so uh, basically, uh, it's going to be a grinder. It's going to be exciting. And uh, you know, we're looking to, uh, it's kind of like the bowl, to get to a bowl. That's exactly what we're trying to do is just uh, win the game, get to a bowl game. Right, right. Well, I'll tell you what, I appreciate you taking the time today, you know, to, uh, to talk to me. I just on the strength and conditioning. I know game days are busy, a lot going on mentally and physically. You have to be in different places. So I appreciate it, and good luck today, and hopefully we'll get to that bowl game. So, okay, thank you very time. much.